Well, good, wonderful, beautiful morning, audience. Hi, guys. <laughs> so we're back from camping, and what is going on? I have like four days till I leave for Vid Summit. By the time you guys see this, I'll actually be at Vid Summit. So I am doing mass preparation to get ready to go do that, including picking up a new backpack. All right, let's take this off here. I gotta show this to you guys. I needed a new backpack for my trip, and this was too cool not to pass up. I had one that I usually take on airplanes with me, but it doesn't fit my little baby laptop real well. So this will now fit my laptop and my switch and everything else I need to take. Cause you're not going, you're not going, and not even daddy's going, but I'm gonna be gone for five days. Yes, I don't know how many of you remember that from last year, but I went on a trip to California for Vid Summit. It's like a two day, massive educational, everything that we do in social media, teach you how to do it, do it better, and continue to grow what you do, which I really kind of need right now because this channel is kind of wonky and the dog's channel is all over the place and I'd really like to get my Facebook growing again, so there's lots of things I need to go and learn about and even the podcast. We want to learn how to do the podcast better, so I'm going to do that next week. So the next couple of days, I have so much to do, but we'll get it all done. But you know what the best part is about being busy? thinking about what to make for dinner. Oh wait, I don't have to think about what to make for dinner because the next part of this video is sponsored by our amazing friends at Home Chef. I'm not kidding, the most amazing friends ever. We just got our Home Chef box today. If you guys wanna get your own Home Chef box, as always, there will be a link down in the video description below, coupon code here. You will get $20 off your first four boxes. You don't have to order them all in a row. You can do one a month. You can do one every other week. You can do one however you want. For those of you that have been watching for a while and have done the Home Chef boxes, Leave me some comments down below on what your favorite recipes that you've picked are because for those of you that don't get it or are thinking about getting it, there's like a whole list of different recipes you can pick. So if there's certain things you like and certain things you don't like, you get a pretty big selection. And I'm a pretty picky eater and I've always been able to find something that I wanna make. So let's see what came in this week's box. Meals everyone will love. So as we have told you guys before, everything comes in a nice refrigerated box. And the meals I picked this week, I actually picked one of their culinary collection meals, which these ones cost a little bit more, but I really, really, really wanted to try it. I was excited about it. So I don't know if I'm gonna make that tonight or this tonight, cause this looks really good as well. And then this one. So I did three this time, cause like I said, this one is a little bit more, but totally, totally worth it. This looks so good. So these are the three we got in the box. And as always, you guys come on back later to figure out which one we're gonna make. So I'm working on cleaning up the kitchen and there's a box of rocks on my counter. A lot of these are those ember lights, but there's also some slag from a bay furnace in here. Check this out. So this is slag. I know we've showed it before. It's like what's left over after they melted iron. It feels like glass. It's so weird, but there's some pieces in there. And then, most of you know Jamie and I do a lot with rock jars. I made a little rock jar. Green is my favorite color. So I had a bunch of little green rocks that I put in this rock jar just for fun. These are the jars I picked up at Michael's when I went shopping that day with Shelby. Took her over to Traverse City to that, uh, the holistic vet. And then these two jars are all ember lights. So they're all little ember lights in both jars. I thought it would just be kind of cool to have little glowing rock jars. I don't know if they're gonna stay on the shelf. I kind of took a lot of the stuff off the shelf because Kira was going after it, but uh, maybe, Maybe she won't go after rocks. Ha ha ha. That's funny. <laughs> there, we'll, we'll move them up a little higher. You're not going to eat rocks on me, are you? She's like, so far I just pick them up and set them down when you throw them in the water, but I haven't tried chewing on them yet. Yet is the key word. Who knows what you're going to do because you're a bad puppy. <laughs> I love you. All right, so I just filmed a video for the dog's channel. The dogs are enjoying their... Bully stick holders. These are kind of neat. I posted a thing on their Instagram about them, but they're actually really neat. I hate giving the dogs bully sticks because I'm always afraid they're going to choke on them, but these like screw and anyway, that's not what I made the video on. But anyway, these like screw and hold the bully sticks together. So when they get down to that little piece that always scares the heck out of me, they can't actually get it. But I made a video about Shelby being back home and uh, she's back. So we got her a purple urn, just like Oakley's blue one. So there's the blue one for Oakley. Shiloh's got a black one. She should have a red one. Look at how little Shiloh's is comparatively. But there it is. And then I got her that little crown and there are her paw prints in there too. And then there's a little purple ring on top of there. So 
for those of you that keep asking if we got Shelby back, we got Shelby back. We actually got her back what, before we left for that eight day camping trip, but I didn't really feel like making a video about it before we left or vlogging about it before we left, so I didn't. And then when we got back, I didn't feel like doing it. So today I just felt good enough and right, so I thought I would do it. It's not an easy video to make, which of course you guys probably already know that, but I felt, I don't know, today I felt right in my mind, like I wanted to get it out there. I wanted to get the information out there to you guys. You're gonna see it on the dog's channel. I'm gone to the snow dogs before you see this vlog anyway, but I just wanted to get it out there and answer some questions you guys had. So if you didn't see that video, I'll try to remember to put a link up in the cards. If not, it's over on the gone to the snow dogs YouTube channel, which is the dog's channel. But I made the video, I felt good about it. I didn't cry till after, <laughs> but I, I'm glad I did it. Like it's hard, it's really hard, but I wanted to answer a lot of questions that you guys were leaving. So I did it, I did it, I did it, I did it. Is that good stuff? She's like, you guys know I did, this is the best. I will also put my affiliate link for these bully bundles down, uh, down in the video description below for anybody that is interested. No, these are not rawhide. I put up a picture and people are like, I don't give my dogs rawhide. It's not rawhide, they're bully sticks. There's a difference. Yeah, it's the good stuff. Mom, you have no idea how good this stuff this is. This is the best. These clean their teeth so well, and I always like giving them to them because they are, bully sticks are really highly digestible, but like I said, they would get down to the bottom of them and I would just get so nervous that they were gonna actually like choke on them. And even Kira's like, whoa guys, check me out. I got this bully stick and this delicious. I cleaned my tea first, and I learned how to hold it already, and I love it. You love it? Oh, you don't even know, guys. I love it so much. It's like the bestest thing I've ever had in my whole life. It's so gross, though. No, Mom, it's not gross. It's the greatest thing ever. <laughs> oh, is that good? Oh, it's so good. Ew. But it's good for your tea first. You gotta have something good for your tea first to chew on, huh? Yeah, I love it. I love it. <sighs> anyway, <laughs> something's got to make me laugh today, right? Good job, girls. You both made me smile. And then I don't know if you can see him way out there, but Jamie's out there working on the back garage. I don't think he knew it was going to be cold today, but he's trying to get some stuff shifted around so the mower can go in there where we had originally planned to put it. And then he's going to get, I think the small Jeep is going to go in the back garage for a little while, but he's also got to get the hard top in his Jeep, which is back there. So he's been back there working like crazy. Oh, it's time for dinner. It's time to make this. We are making this today from home chef. Because I don't know, it looks good, it looks different, and I want to try it. So that's what we're going to make. And you guys already know why we love home chef. One, because I don't have to figure out what I want to make for dinner. Two, because they send everything right to the house. Hold on, let me get the bag of stuff out so I can show it to you. There it all is, right in a bag, plus the meat that we need, all right here. Everything's super simple. Yeah, what do you think? What do you think? I don't think you're gonna get any of it, but we're gonna go ahead and make some dinner. As I said earlier in the video, if you wanna get your own Home Chef box, links down in the video description below. Right, Memphis? Memphis, you wanna help me make dinner? Do you wanna help me make dinner? Mm, yeah, okay, you can help by being my moral support. <laughs> So every one of their recipe comes with this awesome recipe card that tells you exactly what you need to do. So, so far we've preheated our onion. We are working on cutting up and cleaning all of the toppings for our flatbread pizza. What does that look? It's paper. It's just, it looks like food because there's food on it, but it's just paper. <laughs> now I'm going to cook the ground beef and par-bake the flat flat flatbreads. <laughs> Oh, it's late. I was tired. I was tired. I was tired. How about you? And here's my little helper over here. Memphis is like, I'm totally helping. I'm doing a great job. All right, let's make some pizza. And that is flatbread cheeseburger pizza. What do you think, hon? Does it look good? <laughs> it does. Yeah, I think it looks delicious. It smells it smell really good. Yeah, I was going to say, it smells good. So we're going to eat this and uh, let you guys know what we think. That was super easy. That really only took me like maybe 20 minutes total, 25 minutes total. Super easy, fast, and I'm hungry, so we're gonna eat this. 
that was pretty good. One of the other things I want to mention about the Home Chef is the recipe card that I showed you. They actually have holes in them and you can keep them. So that's one of the recipes I will be keeping so that I can make it again on my own. That'd be pretty fun. That was good. We enjoyed it. And now I have no idea what we're doing. It's so crazy how early it's getting dark anymore. It's 730 and it is completely dark outside. So that's a thing. We kind of noticed that when we were camping too, how quickly it was getting dark. That means fall is definitely here and winter is fast approaching. Rumor has it it's gonna snow in the Upper Peninsula this weekend. Maybe we should go back. <laughs> so dinner last night was amazing and we kind of got a little bit crazy busy after we ate and I forgot to record a little last clip. Look at this cute girl. You're, look at how long you are. You're so long. So anyway, you guys, as I said earlier in the video, if you want to get your own home chef box, links will be down below. We're going to go ahead and end this video. These girls are napping. It is actually the next day and it is raining. So it's a rainy day today. And they're like, oh, we like rainy days. We can just relax and sleep and nap and not have to worry about anything. They don't really have to worry about anything anyway. <laughs> Uh, all right, you guys, we hope you enjoyed today's video. As always, thanks so much for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Stay positive, dream big, and we will see you again soon. Good night, audience. If you love our huskies, come along for the ride. All you have to do is hit subscribe. Follow as we share our lives with our dogs and join our adventures on Snow Dog Vlogs.